I'm passionate about women and women empowerment because when I was growing up, women did not have a voice. Women could not come to any meeting, but I see there's a change because they've seen um, the importance of this sort of empowerment. We found also there was a gap, especially when we come to women needs. Uh, we didn't know about public participation. We didn't know much about uh, budgeting. Women didn't know anything to do with the government indeed. Watershed has taught us so much, eh? has pushed, not really teaching, but pushing, pushing us. You are supposed to do this. They give us information. You see, information is the key to everything. The main aim of this program is to ensure that there is sustainable wash for all and one of the major pathways is uh, through social accountability where we are ensuring that the people are aware so we are relying on civic engagement so that there is improved service delivery that is informed by the people. And uh, not just to be recognized but also to be appreciated. So we have CSOs working in the county, we work together and we have seen these CSOs even facilitating some of our public engagements. When the community plan for the budget, not unless we have one of our own there, nobody talks about us. All they will give us a project which we didn't really need it. But if we have a reader like me, I'll go to the county, tell them our problems, they will listen, and maybe they will look for a solution next time. So when we go to the meetings, we talk about water, how it affects women with a disability. When it comes to decision making, persons with disabilities, we are usually left behind. It's a very big step ahead because they are front to accept us. Before we used to be as if we are a bother to them. But now they understand that we are, we are people who are friendly, people who can associate, people who can reason like them. Communities in the pastoral area live sparsely, so sometimes uh, they get really scarce information when it comes to policies and um, regulations, maybe at the county level. So what we've been trying to do uh, is just build a capacity on protection of the resource, which is common because uh, in most cases it's a cause of conflict. Because when there's no water, they come up fighting the upstream users. I think we have been able to share the, the, the available resource uh, sustainably. And also during the dry spell, there are no conflicts. So far there are no conflicts, so we have been able to mitigate that. And uh, we are continuing to do as much as we can. Uh, initially it was hard to maybe bring women on board uh, in terms of uh, meetings, active participation, but slowly we've tried uh, to work with women groups. They now know who to ask in case of there's no, there's no water or there's shortage. They've been able to take complaints forward about the shortage of water because there was an abstraction upstream and with their complaints they were heard and water was able to be released. So our main role uh, in the program is first we empower the citizens, but we also encourage the counties to be transparent so that they can uh, 
timely avail information to the people so that they can adequately and meaningfully participate in these processes. We have recently uh, produced the popular version of the Public Participation Act, which is now simpler and easy for the common citizen to read and go through. So we even go further to produce a citizen's budget. We as taxpayers, we don't know how much is allocated to us on the side of the water sector. But when you, have, when you share these documents with the members, they will be able to question if whatever has been allocated to them is not shared equitably. So I think these publications are very important because everybody will be wary and even our leaders will be scared because they know whatever they are doing is a privy to, to the community. Nowadays, people are aware of their rights, so they demand for the same. Most people, they fall sick and they don't know what is wrong with their water. So they come to the office, say, we are receiving some dirty water. So Watershed came in handy to help us in doing the water quality testing. So we are working with evidence, especially on water quality. We have now evidence. I don't feel tired because whenever I feel that I'm tired, I find there is nobody who articulates disabilities issues as I do. I feel proud because I've become so focal in the community. When there is anything to do with, the, with women or the vulnerable, they usually approach me. They don't care whether they have disability or not, but they know Valentine is there for them. So in my day to day, I work day in and day out to see that we get water. Also focusing on water. Well, if I see the people we've been interacting with actively, you know, participating in these processes and, you know, meaningfully engaging even government, it of course makes me feel good because in essence that is what Watershed is all about. In making sure that everyone has access to uh, safe uh, water services, we are saying that it includes everyone, including the very marginalized of the people. Yeah, so it's, it's quite important that they are now uh, actively coming up to advocate for their own rights. And that, of course, is a step towards achieving sustainable wash for all.